Hi everyone, my name is Lucy from ARC and we're not going to have a Saturday Art Club this week um, just because it's bank holiday weekend and people can go out and explore a little bit more so we thought that we'd just have a bit of a break, give you a break um, from being on Zoom indoors um, while we start to plan our, hopefully our in-person Saturday Art Clubs back in the centre um, but we thought we'd just create this little video to explain the We Are Dreamers open call that's out at the moment Perhaps you've wondered what it is, you looked at the help sheet, the activity sheet, and you thought, that's too long, I can't be bothered reading it. Um, perhaps you just want it explained to you in person rather than reading through all that. Um, so basically, really, it's inspired by We Are Dreamers, the, the huge exhibition that we did at Stockport War Memorial Art Gallery in 2018. Some of you might have been involved with that. Um, we did an open call for box artwork, basically, dream boxes. Um, inside of which people basically visualised their dreams and the things they aspire to. And there was a massive response from Stockport residents. Um, and we thought we'd do a, a version of that. Hello. And we thought we'd do a version of that um, in collaboration with the Dolls House Art Gallery, which has been in Levenshume for the last um, eight or nine months in a window there. Um, displaying artwork um, we thought it was a, a cool little thing and, and how how we could collaborate with them to create something interesting in Stockport so um, it's basically a 1 12th scale um, art gallery for anybody who knows much about scales it's um, quite a, a usual scale for dolls houses for sort of maybe for slightly older children and it means that um, the size that we've chosen is roughly what A4 would be if it was scaled up. So all the pieces will be roughly A4, um, all kind of uniform. We'll pack as many as we can into the space, um, all 12 scale. And then it will be um, exhibited in what was Bond Street um, Shoe Shop in Merseyway in Stockport, which is opposite Pound Bakery and next door to uh, Waterstones. Um, it's going to be great in that window there. It's a really cool window. I think it'll be a great a great display and then you'll be able to in invite your friends and family to to see it. Um, it will open sort of mid to late June so hopefully the restrictions will be eased again after that so there'll be no issue with people going to view it and um, hopefully maskless. Um, so yeah really exciting hopefully you want to be part of it and um, all the work will be accepted. Um, all ages are welcome to to join in obviously children might find it a little bit more fiddly um, young children just because of the size so um, one, one twelve scale is one inch one foot to one inch so A4 is about a, f a foot long so it's about an inch and um, it can be a bit harder for, for younger children but you could help them create the part separately um, based on whatever it is they dream of or you're talking to them about what they're excited about and then uh, you could help them assemble it and then they're part of the exhibition um, whether they actually create the little thing, I don't know if they'd really be bothered, so you could get them involved that way. But slightly more suited maybe to um, teenagers and, and adults as a nice way to be part of an exhibit of a collective exhibition. Um, so I'm going to have a little look um, at the um, activity, um, mainly not necessarily a walkthrough because we think it's quite a subjective thing that you might want to make, but really just looking at how you start that process. What, what could you even put in the box? What, could you be inspired by um, and how to put the template together and stuff like that. Um, so I hope you enjoy it and we hope you get involved. So if you're not signed up to receive our emails, our Keeping Us Together creative activities, and you can just search for Keeping Us Together on Google or go straight to keepingustogether.org.uk. Find the activities menu and activity 30 and then you'll see the activity here and everything you, you need. Um, you can see all the all the pages of the activity sheet there. Page four with the template. Um, Jackie, our artistic director, shown us her dream box and how she's gone about making that. I'll show you that again in a minute. And then if you scroll down to underneath the images, you'll see the PDF there. If you click on that, you can either download it or just print straight from there. All about the project instructions and inspiration about the Dolls House Art Gallery, how to get started, which I'll we'll talk about in a second, and, and the templates on page four, you can just print that, um, black and white I did, um, or you can trace off the screen, make sure that you 
if you're using A4, you line it up so that the size is the same when you're tracing it. So yeah, you can use that page. There's a picture at the bottom of the Doll's House Art Gallery. You can have a little read about that project if you're interested. We also have a link to Pinterest. Um, there's just some amazing artwork on here from artists across the world that I found that I just thought was was amazing for a bit of inspiration. There's an amazing prehistoric place here. Um, based on the wave artwork, there's a, the sea with a fish and a boat. So it could be quite fictional, something, that a story that you're telling, um, just a place you want to go to, like these lovely little cottages. Something a bit more uh, retro and graphic, perhaps. Perhaps the style, that's the style you like. Lovely little portraits, something a bit more abstract perhaps, just getting the emotions across. And then this lovely little one that says Dreamer, I just thought that was really cute as well. Here's some examples of what people have submitted already or sent us on Instagram. And here's a, a lovely set of boxes we saw on Pinterest. Page one of the activity sheet, you'll find a basic materials and tools list, but you might want to explore much more depending on your theme. We're going to go to a video of Fatima, our intern, showing you the uh, template for the dream box, how to cut it out and fold it so that you can create your box. Pause and rewind at any time that you feel you need to see it more closely. Even before you've got your materials together or you kind of know your theme, it's good to see the space that you're working with, I think. So you can put this together at the start, maybe even a few. Fatima is showing us how to glue it together here, but you might want to wait a little bit before doing this. If you're interested in miniature and the Doll's House Art Gallery or working in miniature, we've also been running a project called My Lockdown Story, creating books, telling the story of our experience throughout the pandemic. Um, and we've just launched a digital pack version for people to get involved who didn't um, have chance to do the course. So if you're interested in making your own book led by our digital pack with videos, etc., um, that will be live on the website tomorrow in our shop. Um, really, really fun um, way to kind of create um, a document of your experience, perhaps to give to a family member, um, but really fun. That's going to be um, also exhibited in the Doll's House Art Gallery in September, if you're interested in that. Um, so the, the first thing to say is really, this is kind of less about teaching a technique. If you're skilled at a certain art form, then um, it's kind of easy to show a technique to people, but this is less about that because you might want to choose something that you feel more at home with. That could be collage, painting, um, text textiles, um, ceramics even. Um, whatever you want to do with your space, it's kind of up to you, but I think what's more important is developing your theme if you want to. Um, so it could represent your future plans, your hopes or dreams, particularly over the last year. You know, I don't know about everyone else, but I've certainly thought about what's important to me, what I, I can't wait to do, um, things like that. So if, if you've got anything that you're particularly drawn to or that you've missed, you can't wait to get back to, that might be something that you could look at. Um, you might just want to be free in an artistic way and go with the flow. But if you'd like to explore a dream theme, perhaps start by writing a list or a, a mind map based on the questions, what do you dream of or aspire to do, particularly after the restrictions end? What have you been longing for over this extraordinary year? Do you have a newfound passion or hobby that you can't wait to explore further out in the world? Are you longing to go somewhere? So somewhere in particular, perhaps you realise, actually, I love the seaside and I just can't wait to be there again. Um, so you've got an obvious theme there. The next page of the activity sheet um, 
is talking about the visual ways that your theme, so let's just say we chose the seaside, um, how, different ways that they could be represented within a box. So, um, for example, you could think about it in terms of a landscape. Um, you could have the beach at the forefront um, and in the background of a box you could have um, a, a sort of scene that you're looking away so for example I've got some tissue paper that's inspiring me a little bit for some some sand I could create some waves and um, have a look in the activity sheet there's loads of examples of what other people have done but really think about the depth of the box can be used to your advantage you can just use it as a frame almost for a picture at the back that's absolutely fine um, but you could create almost a mini diorama um, with some elements at the back and some at the front so thinking about your order of how you're creating it perhaps don't put your box together all at once you might want to paint on the back or or stick something down and then put the sides of the box together so you're just kind of thinking about that in terms of your theme also thinking about the seaside, I might think about different materials that could be used. It could be wool or, or threads or, or paints, or it could be anything really. It could be a mixture of, of all of them. Um, so have a little think about the materials and mediums you'd like to use for your, for your theme. What comes to mind straight away when you think about your theme, i.e. nature, um, a portrait of someone, your grandmother who you've not seen for a year. Um, it could just be you know, a wonderful portrait of, of her. Um, so the, think about the back and the background, could you use the depth to create a scene, or perspective even, or use it as, as a, sh a structure to create, for example, a building around it. Your, your piece doesn't actually have to be within this box, you know, if you create miniature art that is, could be the same size as this, that's absolutely fine, you don't need to actually use the box, it just needs to be the same dimensions which are in the pack. So you don't need to use the box at all if you don't want to, um, as long as you sort of keep the dimensions. You could use it as a basis for that. You could even create a mould and, you know, use resin or something else. Could you layer it up from the front to the back? Could you spill out from the edges? Could you cut out at the back? Could you use it as a frame itself, like a picture frame, as I said, like with the portrait? You could make a few next to each other that connect through the boxes. You could be inspired by the box itself to create something that's rectangular or boxy already or contained, you know, for example, a stadium, a football stadium or um, a pond or something. You could use it as a chance, I mentioned younger children before, to talk to them about what they've missed. If you, in a way, maybe be trying to avoid it because you don't want them to, to feel sad about the things they can't do, um, now restrictions are e easing, perhaps it'd be a good chance for them to talk about how they're feeling or the things they've really wanted to do and, and connect with that in an artistic way. So I printed out the template which is on page four of the activity sheet. You find the PDF on the website as I showed you. This is the main box and the sleeve is optional. It might not be exhibited within the Dolls House Art Gallery so it's up to you but um, if you're going to collect your piece again and you want to keep it then you could create a sleeve that's part of the design. Um, so the dream box, um, here it is, it's 5 by 3.7 centimetres. You could print this off, you could um, trace it from a um, monitor if you don't have a printer and draw it up or as I said just create your own piece of art that's that shape as long as it's got a bit of depth to it um, and sort of roughly rectangular, um, as long as it's roughly the same size then that's fine, you don't need to use the box. You could also use a matchbox, it's the same size as a small matchbox. If you can find one or buy one, um, then, then you could just do that because they're slightly more um, sturdy. Um, you might want to layer these up with a little bit more paper, but once you've got a bit of tissue paper and um, textiles and things in there, it definitely stiffens up anyway, so you might not want to use up any of your space. One thing that would be really, really useful to use is tweezers. I think they're basically invented for this um, activity. Once you've created some of your pieces, um, it might be very fiddly once it's together. 
to actually get inside there so they, they can be just kind of really invaluable um so say i had um some scrunched up um bits of paper that were waves that i wanted to stick them at the back i could put some pva in the back there and, and stick it down and even sort of manipulate it in some way so they'll be really really useful to get out um, obviously scissors useful as well glue stick and pva pva might be slightly easier just for getting in there once the box is, is together again um, a variety of just papers bits of material things you use for crafts really um, you might want to think about your theme first and then decide um, and then have a rummage so perhaps um, a mind map might be the first place that you you would start with your mini dream box let's have a look now at Jackie's dream box that she made her trip was cancelled a big holiday last year so she was inspired by travel and the seas So a great starting point is to have a little look at some inspiration, print out a few templates and, and start cutting them out, get some materials together that you might like to use, start on your mind map and just explore the things that you look forward to um, and hopefully one of those is to be back in the centre again with us, um, creating back at Saturday Art Clubs, exhibitions, workshops and um, we're really looking forward to that. In the meantime you can hand deliver your dream box to ARC. The Hatworks entrance on the A6 has a post box. Deliver it there or post it to us by June the 7th to be part of the exhibition. We hopefully see you at the exhibition. Um, if not, then back in ARC soon. We can't wait. Take care. Bye.